My marriage to Sally right now is in crisis. I have been living in hell for the past 12 years. Sally's trying to find a way out of our relationship and I'm trying to find a way to hold it together. I've left Charles 19 times and he would take any situation and exploit it to keep me with him. I'm being victimized. I feel like I'm being manipulated and used just to keep her stable in her life. If I had to rate my marriage on a scale from one to 10, I would say a negative three. I would give my marriage right now a two or a three. Charles has been very abusive from the beginning, choking me once. He literally dumped me on the freeway and I crossed all eight lanes to get away from him. I feel like I'm living with the Gestapo watching over me. Basically, he psychologically controls me. I feel like a pawn in a chess game, and it feels disgusting. Charles is a total drama queen. He thrives on attention. I feel like I'm having a heart attack from all the pain and stress that she's putting me through. Much to my chagrin, Sally is dating another man, and it makes me physically weak. My heart has been taken out of my chest and being crushed right in front of me. Why, why would you want to keep somebody that is all the things you just said in that tape? Because I've, I'm full of mistakes myself, but I'm willing to admit that I have psychological issues and problems, and I'm willing to do whatever it takes to fix them. You've been in a relationship for 12 years that's not even a relationship. Come on. You need to get yourself under control. The first thing Mike said when he, when he was studying you, he said, I can tell he's not in a good relationship with himself because he doesn't even take care of himself. Right. You got to get yourself under control and you have to do the same thing. Yes. You have been battered. You have been really worn to a frazzle. Since I was a little girl. Since, that's what I'm saying. The whole way along. You need tending to. You need tending to. You deserve to be tended to. You deserve someone to truly take care of you to give you a chance to actually heal some wounds in yourself. Well, thank you very much. Look, here's my point. When I say you either contribute to or contaminate a relationship, do you, you get what I'm saying? I, I don't care who you are. When you go to a relationship, None of us are born the night before. We all have a history. And whatever it is, we've got, you call it baggage. You, know, you got baggage. And if it's, if it's pain or hurt or whatever, it's like you pick that baggage up and you carry it to the relationship with you and you set it down. And you open it up. And if it's full of anger and bitterness and hurt or paranoia or whatever, then that spills in that relationship. So you got to clean that up before you get in one. And you don't always have to be in a relationship. I, you know? You gotta get along with yourself first. I've always said if I'm gonna be alone, I don't think I'm a bad person to do it with. <laughs> but I haven't been alone for, what is it, 40? Six. We, we just had our 42nd anniversary last week. <laughs> We've been together, what, 46? Uh-huh, 46 years. 46, yeah. Yes, next month. <laughs> yeah. Right. We are almost the same age. It doesn't look, everybody thinks she's a trophy wife, but no. she's not. <laughs> we're, only, we're only three years apart. Yeah. I almost didn't get to date her, though. That's right. I've been bald since I was 12. You were bald. <laughs> I went to pick her up, and her dad said, <laughs> How old is he? <laughs> yeah. Seriously, he was not going to let her go with me. Because we've been together since she was 19, 19. And she was like this big. <laughs> and I was like this big.